Good morning to all. Today, I would like to talk about the topic, Keep Learning with Mission Learning, a branch of AI. I would like to start my presentation with a special quote said by Nick Bostrom. Quote, Mission learning is the last invention that humans will ever need to make, unquote. In this presentation, I will discuss about how humans learn, what is artificial intelligence, what is mission learning, and what it is not. Some day-to-day -day examples, my point of view on how mission learning should be used in the future, and an important part an easy to use website for machine learning to build some fun applications. Let's get started. From my first slide, I would like to talk about the human reality. Our abilities of completing tasks through years of experience is part of being human. As you can see here, there is an old professor teaching some important lessons using the experience he had when he was a student with his teachers. When we are born, we know almost nothing and can do almost nothing without the need of another person's guidance. As you can see here, there's a baby having no idea of what to do with these alphabetical blocks. But soon we are learning and becoming more capable of completing tasks every day. As you can see, the same baby has now grown into an adult and has successfully launched an entire rocket using rocket science. And this is how us humans actually learn. Now, what is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is simply a technology that tries to simulate, using computers of course, to either match or exceed human intelligence. But on the other hand, what is mission learning? Mission learning is an important inner branch of the AI tree, as shown below. Mission learning aims to teach a computer how to perform a specific task and provide authentic results by identifying various patterns. It performs based on previously competent data without the need of human programming. Now, what is not machine learning? Machine learning does not include simple machines, robotics, or heavy-duty machinery. Remember, machine learning has an important part. More data equals more confidence equals accurate answers. Here are some day-to-day -day examples on how machine learning is being used in the real world. Example number one. Alexa and Siri. Now, I know you've probably heard and used these technologies in your life before. Yes, it is true that Alexa and Siri use machine learning to mainly identify the patterns in your voice, try to predict what you're trying to ask it, and give you accurate answers. This is how Alexa and Siri use machine learning in the real world. Example number two, Google Voice Type. Google Voice Type uses machine learning in a very similar way to those of Alexa and Siri. Google Voice Type mainly focuses on the patterns in your voice and try to provide what you're trying to ask it and go and give you accurate results. I know it's not always accurate 100% of the time, but trust me, it is learning on the spot. Example number three, Netflix recommendations. Here gets a chance for Netflix to use machine learning. Netflix uses machine learning as like when you mainly go and watch a movie, you scroll down, you get this huge bar of other movies, and you see that's called Netflix recommendations. Well, machine learning tries to predict what you might want to watch next using the examples and patterns of if you watch a movie, TV show, series, or the genre, if it's a thriller, a horror, a drama, comedy, action, anything. It can provide you results, so instead of trying to go back and search what you might want to watch next, you can just get to watching within seconds. Number four, and my most personal favorite, self-driving cars. You can use machine learning to navigate through car traffic 
and traffic light signals by identifying their patterns. Autonomous cars can now drive by themselves without the need for you to drive your car. This can ultimately make our life more comfortable. Examples may include Tesla or BYD. Here's my point of view on how machine learning should be used in the future. Number one, early and accurate detection of natural disasters. Our current system consists of a satellite telling us when and where a natural disaster is about to strike. But there's a problem. It's not accurate and it's probably too late. That's where machine learning can be used. Machine learning can identify the patterns in these natural disasters and tell us when, where, why, who, and how they're gonna strike us. Then the people near that part can now be evacuated and we can lessen the casualties that happen every few years. Example number two, crime prevention in cybercrime robberies and break-ins. You ever go on an app like Reddit or Facebook and you see this person posting an offensive comment against another person. You can predict something's gonna bad happen. Then you can go to the disliked person and mission learning will tell him, hey, there's gonna be something bad happening. So when the time comes for the opponent to hit our good guy, our guy can now be safe and secure. Now let's dig a bit deeper into one of our examples, break it. Let's say you think that your village, sorry, neighborhood is really safe, but that's only your side of the story. In fact, there's been slowly robberies and break-ins and car thefts. And one time, your car is gone. Well, how do we prevent this? Well, using machine learning. Machine learning can accurately identify the patterns in these car thefts and predict who is going to get affected. Machine learning can go to that person, alert them, and then now they can be self-aware and secure. And this can lessen the crimes that happen every day. Example number three, improve traffic light management. You know when you're chilling in your car and you're waiting for a red light to turn green, a couple of cars go by, but then the road's empty, you have to go to an important meeting, but you're late and you're really annoyed and angry, well, that's where machine learning can be used. Machine learning can identify the patterns in these cars, accurately tell when and there, where they're gonna be at the time and day, and then put the right light for the right time. In this scenario, machine learning plays a vital role. It can lessen the gas emissions and idling times of these cars that would potentially harm our planet. Now, there's mission learning, and in mission learning, there's mission, there's learning. And how do these two important factors at work together? Well, my explanation consists of four major components. Component number one, human supervisor, who supervises number two, builder bot who builds number three, teacher bot who teaches number four, learning bot. Now, first, the builder bot builds the teacher bot using the programming of the human and then builds the learning bot using the experience it had of teaching the builder bot. Now, those small groups of learning bots can go to school and get thought from by the teacher bot and can try and go and attend the test. They pass question number one, but not question number two. They get sent back home, builder bot builds a new bot that can pass question number one and two using the experience it had from the teacher bot. Then these learning bots that are new and sa safe and secure, slightly larger in number, can go to school, pass question number one and two, but not question number three. Cycle goes on and on until the perfect learning bot is assembled. But no one, not the human supervisor or the builder bot or the teacher bot or even the fellow learning bots know how the perfect robot is assembled. That's where the true beauty of machine learning stands out. Here comes an important factor in my presentation, the machine learning website. This website is called Machine Learning for Kids. You can go on it, you can try it out for free, you can name it, you can see if it's recognizing text, images, shapes, colors, etc. You can save it to your web browser and you're done.
ta-da, you will have your own project ready. Then you have to first teach it using buckets, also known as filters. You can name them, put an example in each of them. Maximum anything, minimum five. And then you go to challenge number two, which is to test your project. To test your project, you can put in a piece of text. It will tell you if it's recycling, compost, or garbage. And then it will give you an accuracy rate. Once that rate is about 90% to 100%, you can move on to the next stage, which is to build some fun applications. To build my application, I've used Scratch 3, but you can use Python, Databricks, or even Scratch, your choice. I've put the code, as you can see, and I've done some custom bricks provided by the machine learning website. Now I can finish my coding and my project is ready. Now I can explain my project to you all. My project is called Litterless Lunch App. And how it works is you turn it on, it'll ask you what type of material you have in your hand, and then once you enter it, it'll tell you if it's recycling, garbage, or compost. And then it will ask you if it was right or wrong. You can tell it the answer and it will learn on the spot. So after a few months, you can now solely depend on it. Mission Learning not only helped me build an eco-friendly website, but also helped me and my friends like, actually earn prizes and medals for our school, St. Emily, back in Canada. As my presentation has come to an end, I would like to strongly conclude Humans should never cease to learn, just like those learning bots. The importance of machine learning cannot be overstated. Embracing and investing in machine learning is essential for any organization or individual looking to stay competitive and thrive in the digital age. Just like I started, I would like to end my presentation with a special quote said by Ginny Romani, former IBM CEO. Quote, AI will not replace humans but those who use AI will replace those who don't, unquote. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.